Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if you don't follow my roller skating Instagram page, then you might not know that I stopped counting the days that I have been roller skating. And I stopped counting for a few reasons. The reason I started counting the days of roller skating in the first place was because I saw that everyone else on Instagram was doing it. There was a 365 day skate challenge that people were trying to challenge themselves to do, which basically means that they were roller skating every day. And even in my first 30 days of roller skating video, I wasn't skating every day. I was skating maybe four to five times a week at that time when I had the time to. And since then, I actually only skate maybe one or two times a week because of my schedule. So as I was counting the days, the closer I got to day 100, the more I started questioning why I was even counting the days in the first place. And I just decided after day 100, I was going to stop counting my days. Another smaller reason why I decided to stop counting the roller skating days was because it was confusing a lot of people. I started roller skating in August of 2020. And when 2021 hit, a lot of people were questioning why I was only hitting day 100 when I started way back then and it was just a lot easier to stop counting and I think the final reason why I just decided to stop counting the days was because I was reading a lot of the comments on Instagram and I noticed a lot of people were comparing their progress to mine and I never wanted to make someone feel bad about their own journey because everyone's journey is their own and there shouldn't be any comparison between the journeys so Ultimately, those are the reasons why I stopped counting. So like I said in previous videos, I know a lot of you are here from my roller skating video and I know a lot of you want to see more roller skating videos from me. And for the past few months, I honestly just didn't know what kind of videos I wanted to do. Um, the one thing I knew I didn't want to do was create tutorial videos and I just personally don't feel comfortable giving tutorial videos. There's so many more advanced and experienced and qualified people to give you tutorials and tips. I even have a video if you're interested of me linking everything that helped me learn how to roller skate from the beginning. All of the resources and everything that's helped me are in the description of that video so I'll leave it in the cards above if you're interested in checking that out. So to give a life update of kind of what I've been doing the last few months if you don't follow me on my roller skating Instagram is I honestly haven't been skating as often as I used to when I first started and that's for a few reasons. I started a new job back in April and I wanted to put all of my focus and priority towards that job because it's a job that means so much to me and I'm so grateful for the opportunity and I really just want to make sure that I'm doing my best. Another reason why I haven't posted a roller skating video in a while is just because I feel like I just lost the passion for roller skating a few months ago. I've been on YouTube on and off for so many years now but the growth of my YouTube channel and my roller skating Instagram page all happened so suddenly that I just didn't know how to handle it and if it was very overwhelming for me because there were so many people messaging me asking me for tips you know asking for skate recommendations and it was a lot to take in on top of me trying to figure out what I wanted to do with myself and my career. The end of 2020 to the beginning of 2021 was really, really rough for me for so many reasons. If you don't know, I had a really bad eye incident. I was sent to the hospital the beginning of December 2020. I was wearing an eye patch until February 2021. The whole story of that situation will come at a later day. Dealing with the whole eye situation plus me being in a position where I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do career-wise on top of the growth of my Instagram and YouTube page was just a lot to take in all at once. It sounds very very privileged that I'm able to say that but trust me I am so grateful for everything that roller skating has given me. So to go back a few months ago when my Instagram page started to grow a little bit faster than I expected, for some reason my roller skating Instagram page started to feel more like a job than it was me just posting what I wanted to post. I for some reason just felt the obligation to need to post every single day. It started to take over so much of my time and I felt like I was constantly glued to my phone. I felt like I had to constantly learn new things or post new things on my Instagram or or else I just wouldn't be relevant and I didn't like that feeling. I didn't like feeling like I was obligated to post things all the time. I didn't like the feeling that I felt obligated to record my skate practices all the time. I felt like I was doing roller skating more for other people than I was doing it for me and that's kind of when I just started losing my passion for roller skating. I was also afraid to go skating by myself. Luckily when I started my new job I actually didn't really have much time to roller skate and I think I stopped roller skating for almost a solid month. It's so funny because the video that sparked my interest and made me want to pick up roller skating again was watching Sophia Chang's video. If you 
you guys don't know who Sophia Chang is, she is one of the OG YouTubers that I have been following for so many years. She posted a video last month of her learning how to roller skate. When I watched that video, she actually mentioned me and she said that she saw my first 30 days of roller skating video and that's what inspired her to make hers and when I was watching that video, I was just mind blown. I was watching it with my jaw dropped and I just couldn't believe that she knew who I was. <laughs> watching her roller skating journey literally just re-sparked my joy for roller skating and I picked up my skates and I went to the park and I just skated that day after that video and it felt so good to just practice by myself again, just listening to good music and just practicing all of the things that I just haven't practiced in a while. Going off of that, I actually tagged Sophia in one of my Instagram stories and I was like, hey, do you wanna meet up and skate? And the week after she posted that roller skating video, we met up in person and we started skating. And since then we have become really great roller skating buddies. I never would have thought that roller skating could bring me so many opportunities in life. When I say that roller skating has changed my life for the better, you guys don't even know. Like, <laughs> I'm truly at a loss for words because of how grateful I am. Every time I think about all of the things that roller skating has given me, I'm honestly speechless in the best way possible. Like, I always have a smile on my face when I think about it because that roller skating video changed my life so much and without roller skating i wouldn't have been able to find my current day job and you guys don't even know how much i love my day job i'm so grateful that i've been given the chance to show that i am capable i'm working with a company that i admire so much that i've been following for a few years and i'm just really so grateful for the opportunity and that they've given me this chance to grow with them. Roller skating has given me the ability to do YouTube part-time as another hobby. Roller skating has given me the opportunity to meet so many online friends. I've been given the opportunity to work with so many amazing brands that I never thought I would ever work with. Like I work with Liquid IV, I work with ColourPop Cosmetics. Roller skating has taught me so much about myself. It's taught me about my determination, my perseverance, and it's helped me build the confidence in myself that I've been trying to build internally for so, so long. Picking up roller skating was probably one of the best things I have ever done for myself because I have never been in such a good place in my life before and there's a plane. It's probably really, really annoying to some of you that I always say how grateful I am for everything, but before last year and before I picked up roller skating, I feel like I was so lost and I was in such a really bad place. I'm trying not to get emotional about it, but I felt so lost before I started roller skating. I've been given so many opportunities in life that I never thought I would be presented with. And for that, I will always be grateful. Just thinking back to the years of me feeling so lost before this, I wish I could tell the old me that everything would be okay and that I would be where I am today. Thinking back to the few years where I was unemployed and lost in life and just angry at the world and angry at myself for nobody giving me a chance and nobody believing in me. I just wish I believed more in my past self. Back then I really didn't believe in myself and I'm still working on that. I still have a lot of self-improvement to go and I'm still trying to rebuild the self-confidence in myself but that is the reason why I'm so grateful and why I always continue to express my gratitude because I truly am so grateful for my life right now. <laughs> For me, roller skating was never a competition between anyone. I never compared my progress to anybody else. I never thought that I was better than anyone and I never thought, oh, why is this person so much better than me? It was never about that. It's never been about my followers, my likes, my subscriber count. It was never about that. And I've been feeling very relieved that I've been able to refine that 
passion for roller skating that I had when I first started. Roller skating was never that serious for me and I think I'm going to keep it that way. I don't ever plan to be a professional roller skater. I don't ever plan to make roller skating my full-time career. It's just going to stay a hobby and I think that's the best decision for me. People on the internet can honestly say what they want about me. They can say that I stink. They can say that I've plateaued in terms of progress and honestly they can say whatever they want because I don't care. If you don't like the way I skate, if you think I suck, there are plenty of other skilled roller skaters out there that you can follow so you know feel free to unsubscribe or unfollow me and you can go follow them because I really don't care I can honestly say without a doubt that roller skating has just changed my life for the better it has flipped my life 180 and I am the best version of myself today and I would 100% say that it's because of roller skating that has done this for me. I'm growing and I'm learning so much, not only as a roller skater, but as a person. I think it shows in my YouTube videos, but I'm honestly my worst critic. I am very hard on myself when it comes to anything in life, whether it's roller skating or cooking or my fitness or my editing skills, all of that. I'm very, very hard on myself and that's something that I'm going to continue to work on. And even though I say that I'm currently my best self right now, there's still so much room for self-improvement and so much room for growth. I really think that roller skating has helped me open my eyes to realize all of this not just within roller skating but again being able to apply this to my everyday life as well um yeah i think that's everything i wanted to say for this video if you're watching this video to the very end i just wanted to say thank you so much for your patience and your kindness because you know the internet can be a very very mean place and i'm just glad that i have a lot of kind people that are subscribed and that are watching me that understand that I'm still figuring things out. I'm still figuring life out and that's totally okay. Trust me when I say there will be future roller skating vlogs. It might not be tutorials or me learning new tricks, but I will continue to vlog my roller skating process here and there, so stick around for that. And finally, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for sticking around for the roller skating journey and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!